Hello friends, I am Dr. Parvindar and today I will be talking about the minimally invasive treatment of thyroid nodules. So first of all, let us talk what are these thyroid nodules. So thyroid gland is a very important gland in our body which secretes thyroxine hormone. The hormone is important for many functions in our body. Now most of the nodules like 80% which occur in the thyroid gland are benign. Benign means non-cancerous nodules. So they are not cancerous. But what problem can these thyroid nodules cause? They can be form a nodule in your neck which can be visible outside and can be a cosmetic concern for you. Secondly, it can cause pain and when it enlarges to such a big size, it can cause pressure on your food pipe or trachea which is the windpipe and then you may have problems in swallowing food or in sometimes in breathing also. So mainly people are concerned about the cosmetic problem when these nodules are visible outside and they form a visible bump on your neck in the front. So now usually the treatment for these thyroid nodules has been hemithyroidectomy which means that the part of the thyroid which half has the nodule is taken out by surgery and this obviously gives a large scar like this on your neck which may not be liked by you. So now what are the options which you can choose for the treatment of these nodules? So the interventional radiologists have a very good option of treating these nodules by a pinhole needle ablation which is called thermal ablation or chemical ablation. So there are different energies like chemical energy in the form of absolute alcohol or thermal energy in the form of microwave ablation or radio frequency wave ablation which is used to burn the nodule. So how is it done? So patient lies on the table and then under ultrasound guidance by seeing these nodules under ultrasound we insert a needle under local anesthesia. Before uh, the procedure, we numb that region by local anesthetic and then insert the needle or as we call it, the antenna through that site under ultrasound guidance into the nodule. Now that antenna is connected to a generator which generates microwaves or radio frequency waves and it creates heat energy. Now moving the needle in different directions within the nodule, we burn the nodule with that thermal energy. So what is the effect? The nodule gets destroyed. Its blood supply becomes nil. And in slowly due course of time, the nodule shrinks in size. So our basic purpose is to reduce the size of the nodule. So about 50 to 60 percent reduction in size of the nodule occurs within six months. And over a period of uh, one year, nine to 10 months, it reduces to almost 80 to 90%. So cosmetically visible nodules will shrink inside and they will no longer be visible. If it is causing some pressure symptoms on your windpipe or food pipe, then the nodule will shrink in size and the pressure effect will be released. And also mostly when the patients complain of pain in those nodules, the nodules uh, become painless after this type of treatment. So now what are the advantages of these uh, minimally invasive ablation techniques? First of all, there is no scar visible. There is no anesthesia, general anesthesia required. We do it under local anesthesia, which acts during the time of the procedure. You can be discharged the same day. You just have to be in observation for about two to three hours after the procedure. And you will not have to take leave from your work. So this is the greatest advantage. I would say the biggest advantage will be that there will be no big scar visible and the thyroid tissue which should be preserved because of its important function is not lost from your body. In surgery, first of all, a major part of thyroid tissue is lost. You will have to take thyroid medication uh, for your whole life. Then there will be a big scar. It will be done under general anesthesia and you will have to stay for in, in the hospital for a few days. So all these are the disadvantages of hemithyroidectomy or surgical technique of treating these benign nodules. So if you are thinking of getting your thyroid nodule treated, if it has been, you have shown to some endocrinologist who has suggested you surgery, then please consult an interventional radiologist. Take opinion about the ablation techniques. You can meet me also at my clinic. The address and the link to my phone number has been given in this video. And you can choose one of the good treatments for your thyroid nodules. Thank you.